what is going on? It's yours truly, Rock Combo, a.k.a. the Professor on the Sticks. We're breaking down my very first Madden 20 game here. Uh, we're playing some Mutt Draft. And then after that, we'll be breaking down. We'll do this little series, and then we'll uh, get into some, some Mutt gameplay. Still finalizing my team. And then, as promised, I will show you the, the squad, and when we'll be uh, doing some weekend league and, and stuff like that. But let's break down this draft, and then we can get into our very first game. So we have the Oakland Raiders. Um, and Mahomes there. <laughs> Woo, that's a good start. But the Oakland Raiders, I really like their offense. They have a really good balanced offense. They have trips tight end. They have a uh, bunch tight end. They have um, an o okay, okay bunch. Um, and then some really good running formations like strong close and some other uh, running formations. So it's a really good balanced playbook, and I was comfortable with it. However, I am not that comfortable with running 4-3. Honestly, besides just labbing it up a little bit, I haven't run 4-3 at all. And so it, that's going to be very interesting, and we'll have to see what we can do on, on defense. But what's really good about Mud Draft, especially the beginning of the year, it allows you to get in different playbooks and really test out other things and other formations because you can get really stuck on stuff early on. And Todd Gurley, he comes up in packs. He comes up everywhere. I don't know if I want to take Todd Gurley because I already have a good running back there. And so uh, I, I don't need a running back. So we're going we're gonna to nix taking the running back. Overall, this team so far has... Is getting pretty good. But like what I was saying, I really like uh, Mud Draft early in the year. The game mode needs to actually be on, on all pro or all Madden because I, I, I swear it's on rookie or pro. But other than that, it's it's fun being able to test out different playbooks and really take a deeper dive in games versus different formations that you normally wouldn't, uh, wouldn't use. So on round 11 of, of 22 here, that's a uh, that – I mean, Chris Jones, pretty good, pretty good choice here. Uh, Derry Slay he, in Mutt, he's, his card is really good. So is Denzel Ward and 86 speed. It's hard to get rid of 86 speed. I wish I wish Ward in real life was a little taller, 5'11", a little short. I wish he was 6'1", or you know, but you, you can't be. Typically, it's it's hard to have height and speed unless you're Mel Blunt. But right here, uh, 13 of 22 round. I mean, I guess I guess we'll take read that safety. Uh, next up, 14. That was a pretty simple one. Uh, we got another corner. We needed another corner. And then this is a tough one because Pat Pete is really damn good. And I could put Pat Pete. I could put him actually at safety. I'm really going between, you know, Derwin James. Um, I don't I don't like Jenkins. His speed is just terrible. I'm going to do Derwin James. I I, I know you, you I could put Pat Pete there at safety, but I'm, I want to try that card out. I, I play with Pat Pete a decent amount, but I want to check out that James card. And, and have a little fun with it, right? So uh, this is just an absolute trash can round. Just just terrible. I don't want any of these players. Can I just pass? Let's get, let's get a re-roll. Come on. All right, so round 17 here, center. Uh, that's the best card. The other two cards are, are not going to be, be that useful. Here we are with the left end. That's, uh, I, yeah, I need a left end, so let's, let's do that. I, uh, so I have an okay right end. Um, I, if I had another lineman, that would be, be wonderful. Um, once again, this is not a good a good round either. Uh, let's do corner because I might be going into like a dime because I don't know anything with four three. So we might be having to go into dime or maybe even maybe even quarters. Here we go, JJ Watt. That's uh, that's the card we were looking for. Now our our, our defensive line is going to be beefed up a little bit more. Um, the right guard looks looks pretty pretty good there. Um, but yeah, let's just take the right guard. I don't really need that. Ooh yeah, look at Julio round twenty two. This is. Julio or Harrison Smith? I don't really need Harrison Smith, um, but who? I got a lot of receivers, but you know what? Let's let's. I think I'm gonna. You gotta get Julio, right? Yeah, we let's get Julio. So we got Julio. Overall, 81 overall team, 82 offense, 79 defense. Let's begin this championship run. Overall, I think it's a pretty good team. That's that's the squad. So now let's um, let's take a look, look at this lineup real fast, but. But yeah, the lineup lineup is looking good. I'm I'm looking forward to my my first opponent. Let's see what my draft is all about. Mahomes, a pretty. I mean, this offense is stacked. Julio, Hopkins, like Hopkins, Patty, Mahomes, like this. Woo, good running back. We're we're looking good. All right, so we're going against uh, the, the Pats here. Let's see what we got cooking over here. He's gonna take it out, and I will tell you, playing a lot of games early on. I mean, the game hasn't even officially been released, but the fumbles are insane off kickoffs. Do not take hits. At the very least, stiff arm. Don't be juking and, and taking big hits because big hits are so easy. And here we are. We are in quarters to start the game. 
and we wanted to uh, to try this quarters out. And as you can see, the first couple times I was able to stop his run, now I'm not able to stop his run. So he's going to pound the rock and pound the rock. So I'm going to have to get out of it. I, I can't stand this. Um, I remember he he he's going to probably no huddle. He probably yeah he no huddled and I called a timeout. So then he just tried to hit me in the flats there. Took that away. He's trying to go back to the to the run. I don't blame him there. Third and inches. We are in some pretty good run defense, but Zeke does Zeke things and essentially gets five yards. But we know at first and goal, he's gonna he's gonna want to run the ball. We took away his flat route, then we're coming across the middle on this little levels uh, levels concept and sack him. So now it's third and long. I'm gonna get back into uh, back back into some some coverage defense. I'm okay giving that up. That's fine. Take that wrap up tackle. He was in field goal range regardless. No big deal there. Let's uh, let's just make sure that we tackle him. Make him take his three. And whenever somebody gets the ball first and they settle for three, that's the defensive stop in my eyes. Anytime you don't get them to score a touchdown, because you have no idea where they're going to run. No idea at all. So here we are. We are uh, we're coming out. We're motion over there. Uh, nice little flood concept to the left. It was open, but I just didn't do a good job of reading it. But we're going to buy a little bit of time, roll out to the right side of the pocket, and dot for a touchdown to go up 7-3. to three. Now he's going to start pounding the rock again. He already has seven rushes, but... Now we got out of that, uh, the quarters defense, so he is, woo! <laughs> better be careful. You better watch those spin moves. I'm going to pop you. Um, now he's coming out. It looks like, was that five wide? I couldn't, I couldn't really see, but, uh, but, but yeah. So once I got out of quarters, um, I've been able to effectively stop his run, which, which feels good. And right there, I was one step away. I was baiting him into throwing that, but he threw it just at the right time, and users have been, it's a little bit more difficult. Still got to get a little bit better with the user, but... Uh, right there, that could, that should have been a pick. That that's my fault. That's honestly, that's not the game. That's my fault. I should have should have picked that. And then right here, this is me just not not being where I was supposed to be. That was my zone. Yep, I I, I followed the drag, two steps too far, and pop. Ooh, Brady almost got. I think that's no, that's Philip Rivers. Uh, Rivers almost just got lit up. He went down just in time. So here we are, third and nine, the third and goal situation essentially. And once again, bend but don't break right there. Fourth down, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to go for another field goal. And we are going to stop him short at the one-yard line. And so this is where having the Oakland playbook on offense is so effective because you can come out in strong close right there. There's so many different good running formations. Let's do a little toss. Don't press the trigger. Boom. Now we can take off with Zeke Elliott for a nice game for two runs to the 30-yard line. But let's get back to passing the ball, right? That's what people want to watch. No one wants to see anybody run the ball down the field. So... Uh, so yeah, that's where that's where the the Oakland playbook is is very nice because it's some really good passing sets and some good running sets. And where my opponent uh, got lost in the sauce in this game so far is he was not able to capitalize in the red zone. Only two trips and only three points. That should have been a pick. Great job of, by me clicking on and being able to break that pass up. And Philly Rivers is old and has twelve kids. He's he's not in shape. Oh. Just heartbreaking. Just, 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 that's ridiculous. Just heartbreaking. But once again, now he's in the red zone, but he capitalizes this time for the touchdown. Rivers is like, hey, man, I know I got 10 kids. I know I'm slow, but I just dotted your life away. But don't worry. We got dots on our, uh, us as well. Five seconds left until halftime. This is a long 34 yarder, plus 10, plus seven. That's a long kick. That's a 50 yard kick. What do we got? Woo! We, we were able to make it. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a 51 yarder, I believe. I did my math correctly. So we're going to go back. He's running. It looks like some man coverage. Man coverage is a lot better this year, but if you run man coverage, you've got to put pressure on the quarterback. You can't be in man coverage and, and give your opponent five seconds to throw the ball or somebody's going to break loose, especially when you have in my draft a lot of these, these good receivers and sometimes your secondary isn't as good or as deep. But look at this guy. What more do you want? 15 yards open. I kind of like this scheme. This scheme, I might need to do something with this scheme. This scheme is nice. And here we go. He's going to chur- chunk it up into triple coverage, and that should just about do it. This is typical when they say, GG, no re, I'm going to concede. So this is the first gameplay of hopefully many. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you want to see. We'll see you on the sixth.